So it was two things that you wasn't supposed to be ever in hip hop, a biter and a hater. And like I just explained to you, they didn't slowly eroded away the biter part because a lot of these rappers sound just like one another. When Future came out, how many Future clones did they give us? And they still giving us Future clones to this day. They didn't try to give us Kendrick and Drake clones too. They just didn't stick. And the second thing that you're not supposed to be is a hater. And we have someone in this battle that openly admits over and over and over again, I'm a hater. But I think that the music was a little loud. Are you afraid of it? No, I, I just don't like haters. You would if you had robot ears. I guess I need some robot ears, y'all. Because I'm not hearing it. What it look like, TV? I am back! What it do, baby? YouTube's on Varnell Hill. Did you miss me? And I'm back with another one, man. And this is a somber episode right here. Because this Kendrick uh, verse Drake beef has pretty much exposed the fact that hip-hop, the hip-hop that I grew up on, that stuff is dead and over with, man, and it doesn't exist anymore. Doesn't exist anymore. I've been around hip-hop and been a hip-hop head as long as I can remember, pretty much. I have little kid memories of listening to Curtis Blow and them on 8-tracks. I have little kid memories of going to the Fresh Fest. I have little kid memories of being in a crowd and seeing Slick Rick on stage. I have little kid memories of the quote unquote beef between UT UTFO and Roxanne Shante. I remember after that beef was done, then the real Roxanne came out and Roxanne Shante had the feud with the real Roxanne. I remember the LL Cool J versus Cool Mo D's. I remember all the beefs. And the one thing that is unique about this beef, we can get into all of them. We can get into the locks versus state property. We can get into Tupac versus everybody. But all those beefs were beefs amongst the people. You know what I mean? Like Roxanne Shante, when she was beefing with UTFO, she was coming at UTFO. It wasn't no... A whole bunch of people jumping in on her side to help her it was it was all about the lyrics and it was all about keeping it hip hop in your argument. This past battle, this past battle with Drake and Kendrick has been the most unhip hop beef I have ever witnessed in my life. Y'all done championing this man for hating, got him riding around the studio like this. It's only two golden rules in hip hop. It's two golden rules in hip hop, or at least it was. Rule one, be original, no biting. I'll phrase it the way we phrased it back in the day, no biting. This is why on the purple tape, it's the, it's the classic interlude. But you could do whatever you want to do. Ghost was basically saying you could do whatever you want to do out there, but just don't bite my stuff. And that was a narrative that consistent in hip hop that they slowly chipped away at. They slowly chipped away at that. By whoever had a hot sound, they constantly coming up with clones and selling them to us. So they slowly chipped away at the you got to be original part of hip hop. And they only left us with one core principle because they took the other one away from us. And the second core principle of hip hop was at all costs, you are never to be a hater. The haters are the people that we hate in hip hop. Cause why are you a hater? So it was two things that you wasn't supposed to be ever in hip hop, a biter and a hater. And like I just explained to you, 
They done slowly eroded away the biter part because a lot of these rappers sound just like one another. When Future came out, how many Future clones did they give us? And they still giving us Future clones to this day. They done tried to give us Kendrick and Drake clones too. They just didn't stick. And the second thing that you're not supposed to be is a hater. And we have someone in this battle that openly admits over and over and over again, I'm a hater. Doesn't even give you a justified reason for why he's hating, but goes on to hate strong. Goes on to hate so strong that in his next song, it goes from I hate you to I hate you and I wish you D.I.E. And all these quote unquote hip hop heads is standing around clapping this on. Why this man breaks one of the cardinal rules in hip hop to never be a hater. This ain't hip hop. This ain't hip hop. And Kendrick need to change his name from Kendrick Lamar to Kendra Lamar because he sounds more like Kendra G than a rapper. Now let's get down to it. Since everybody wants to say that these zingers about Drake and his being a father is part of the reason why. Come on, we in a we in a rap battle having a who's the better dad battle. And hip hop is cheering this on. Let's be real. Let's be real. If y'all champion all this great dad talk and all this dad talk, why is it so many single mothers out there? Why is it so many children being raised without their fathers? If y'all going to get in a rap battle and champion all this father rap, I would imagine that the fatherless child rate would be low as hell. You can't win a battle with all these fatherless children running around here talking about how good of a dad you the fuck are. Come on, man. Get out of here with this shit. Get out of here with that. For real, those are the bars that struck you. Those are the bars that touched y'all out there. The, are you a good enough dad? And a lot of times women say that they're held to a different standard that men could do stuff that women can't do. And for the longest, I call bull on that. But this right here is showing that in some senses, they are absolutely correct. Because if Kendrick Lamar, like I said, his name was Kendra, and he decided to go on Fresh and Fit or... The whatever podcast or whatever these panel podcasts on one of them Anton Daniels panels. He decided if he was Kendra and he decided to go on one of those panels and these was the things that he had to say about Drake. She would he would get clipped up and would be all over the Internet. Kendrick is on these songs sounding like a disgruntled baby mama that y'all mock and make fun of every day. But because it came out of his mouth, it's some hot stuff. I'm calling BS on that. I'm calling BS on that. If you run his rap songs up, it's like you got a transcript from a Kendra G show or a Kevin Samuel show. But this man levying all these accusations with no proof. And it could all be clipped the same way Kevin Samuels used to clip people's stuff. Well, if he did this, that, and the other, and he's so bad and you know about it, why you ain't call the police? Like, I just got to be honest with you. Kendrick has done some of the nastiest work I have ever seen in the battle. <laughs> Adios, turd nuggets. <laughs> wow. All right, let's go back a couple months ago, y'all. Do y'all remember on... Uh... Joe Button podcast. It was this little, uh, it was this little incident where uh, the chick that he got on there—I forget her name—it slipped my mind real fast. The old uh, video vixen chick, uh, Megan something. I think I forgot her name. I'm not even going to try to remember. I'll put it down here somewhere when I remember it in editing. But she came out her mouth and she had insinuated some things about Cam and Mace, and the internet went 
crazy on her. And so did Cam and Mason, rightfully so. Because in 2024, this is not the time to be leveling unfounded accusations against anybody. People are getting destroyed over unfounded accusations. Now ain't the time. So for you to do what you're doing, you are purposely using a feminine tactic to try to bring a man down. Rap battles aside, that's just classic sucker stuff. And once again, for all the people out there that's overlooking this, if this would have been a female that would have made these accusations with no proof, y'all would be demolishing her. Y'all would be demolishing her. But because it's Kendrick Lamar in a rap battle, this shit hot. Yeah, yeah, not like us, not like us. If no paperwork doesn't come out on Drake ever, this was some of the nastiest work ever. And I'm going to start wrapping this up. Hip hop was built on two core principles. You don't be a biter and you don't be a hater. The biting stuff is out the window because they whittled that away. And now, as a general hip hop public, y'all have decided that being a hater is okay. So hip hop is officially dead. It's officially dead. Because you can't make real hip hop and be a hater. Because real hip hop doesn't come from a place of hate. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about this one in the comment section. If you'd have made it to this point in the video, you are my MVP. The stone grew, my man. I'm out of here. And before I get out of here, don't be a hater. Haters are suckers.